guys today we are going to read about learn about redemption of preference shares actually what do you mean by redemption of preference shares redemption means repayment repayment of preference shares capital to the preference share holders is called as redemption of preference shares what actually the rules that are included and followed for the redemption purpose is we are go is the video is about now first we will see about the redemption of preferences can be redeemed by premium and face value not through the discount we can't repay the redemption of a uh, repay the preferences in the form of discount we can only repay them in the form of premium or the face value of the shares that we took we here means a company and now first rule that is followed for the redemption of preference shares is the shares which is to be redeemed to be fully paid and the next one is the new equity shares the issue of new equity shares amount that we get from that we can redeem the preference shares and are by divisible profits and third one is creation of capital redemption reserve account capital redemption reserve account is being created when the redemption of preferences is being made through divisible profits divisible profits are nothing but the reserves like general reserve pnl account and then uh, reserve fund account not the capital reserve account that now capital reserve account is not being used for the redemption of preferences and next fourth one is bonus shares bonus shares can only be being issued through capital redemption reserve account and for last uh, securities premium account if we redeem the preference shares at premium the redemption of preference shares at premium is done and the premium paid to the preference share holders is being done through securities premium account and now we are going to see the steps which are involved for the redemption of preferences there are six steps which are involved in the redemption of preferences first one is if the preference or if the preference shares which are going to be redeemed are not fully paid then we should make a final call final call to the preference share holders and if the final call is already made and there is an calls in arrears then the payment the amount received is to be the entry for the amount received for the calls in arrears is being recorded as a general journal entries and then second one is the due of preference shares due payment that is to be made to the preference share holders is being recorded in the second step and the third step is if any issue of new equity shares we are going to do for the redemption of preference shares then that entry is being done in third step this all the steps this all the entries that i will clearly assume you in the problems upcoming problems and next fourth one is creation of capital redemption reserve here how the capital redemption reserve is being created and to the what extent the capital redemption reserve is being created is being seen in the fourth step and the fifth step is if any sale of asset is being done for the redemption of preference shares is being recorded in the fifth step and then for the sixth step is the final step for the payment of preference share capital to the preference share holders these all the steps that we are going to see in the upcoming problems